Hello, JuliaCon 2022. Uh, my name is Kira Sadovi, and I, along with my project partner, Irik Brances, have created a new plotting package in Julia called Du Bois Plots JL. Uh, now, this package leverages Cairo Makey capabilities to create graphs in the style of W.E.B. Du Bois's data visualizations. Uh, the package can be used to reproduce any of Du Bois's plots or to visualize your own data in a unique and eye-catching way. Uh, now, before I go on, I do have to quickly note the following disclaimer. The, the content of this presentation reflects the personal views of the presenters only and does not represent the views of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System or any other part of the Federal Reserve System. Uh, if you'd like to follow along on GitHub, please click on the following link. Uh, before showcasing the package itself, uh, I'll use the next two minutes to provide some historical background on W.E.B. Du Bois himself and his research. Um, at this GitHub link, you'll be able to find uh, all of our documentation for this package, uh, all the data from Du Bois that we use, and uh, this presentation as well. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois was a civil rights activist, a writer, sociologist, and historian. Uh, he and a team of scholars from Atlanta University created two collections of data visualizations for presentation at the 1900 Paris Exposition. They collected data on black Georgia residents as a case study for investigating how African Americans had fared in the United States since the Civil War. The group drew on a number of sources, including census records and reports from the federal government and Atlanta University. Uh, the point of these data visualizations was to catch audiences' attention at the Paris Exposition. Uh, the Du Bois team wanted to bring the economic status of black Americans to light on the international stage, but knew that they'd be fighting for coverage with presentations on other regions, countries, and topics. So they designed these figures in unique and fairly unusual ways in order to gain that edge over other uh, presentations. Uh, now, since 2018, uh, the Du Bois Challenge has been an open source project that has encouraged data scientists, computer scientists, programmers, economists, and the like to recreate these graphs in as many languages as possible. Uh, contributors have shared recreations in R, Tableau, Stata, and more, uh, but the reason that this project is unique b is because it's the first contribution to the Du Bois Challenge in Julia. So we've used, as I've said, the Cairo Makey package to mimic six of Du Bois's plots. Uh, today I'll show you how to use these recipes to recreate the original plates exactly using Du Bois's data, but also how to use these recipes with your own data. Um, I will briefly note that Du Bois's plots use language of the time. Uh, in recreating Du Bois's plates, we've tried as best we could to mimic exactly how his graphs appear, so we've left the language intact for visual effect only, despite the fact that some of the language is offensive. Uh, for all other reproductions, uh, this language has been omitted. So we'll use two examples today to see how Du Bois plots can be used. Uh, the first is plate 51, which is a graph depicting the percent of enslaved people in the United States since 1790 through 1870. And the second is plate 25, um, a spiral line chart depicting the value of household and kitchen furniture owned by black Georgia residents from 1875 through 1890. Now, as you can see here, these are two reproductions of the original plates made in Julia with the Du Bois plots package. Uh, now, loading the package into your Julia session um, will import some functions uh, used to create the plots and a new object that contains the original data. Um, so in order to do that, we'll open up a Julia terminal. And now that you have the Julia terminal open, all you have to do is run using Du Bois plots, using CSV, and using data frames. After you've installed these packages, uh, we can go straight to being able to access the original data. Now, uh, in order to do that, all you have to do is use this syntax, Du Bois data period plate 25 or plate 51 or whichever plate you're trying to use. Now, when I run this, I'm able to see the data frame that results, which is Du Bois's original data. This is plate 25 data, and I'm also able to see plate 51 data as well. This data corresponds to the, uh, bar the stacked bar plot that we just saw, and this corresponds to the spiral line chart. 
Now, in order to recreate the original plates, we've actually included in our documentation, which you can find in our GitHub repo, the exact code that you'll need in order to recreate these plates. This is the home page of our documentation, which is again on our repo. If you just navigate to examples and then navigate to the plate that you're interested in reproducing, you can copy the exact code needed to, repro to produce the, this exact replication. Turning back to your Julio terminal, all you'll have to do is run this line and you should get a rep replication of Du Bois's plots. Now here you can see that the replication that we wanted to produce was successfully created. Uh, this is the spiral line chart that we saw earlier. Each line corresponds to one particular year between 1875 and 1899. The length of each line corresponds to the value of household and kitchen furniture owned by black residents of Georgia in each of those years. Now, if we wanted to do the same thing for plate 51, we would again go to the documentation page and be able to copy the code listed in order to uh, use to reproduce that chart, which is here. I'll run it. And we can see that we get the replication successfully. Now, this is a stacked bar chart uh, depicting the percent of enslaved people in the United States from 1790 through 1870. Now, in order to use this package to uh, re visualize your own data, uh, we'll first have to read in two data frames, uh, one for each plot. Uh, I've collected modern data. The first will be used to uh, recreate the f spiral chart, so the modern version of uh, black residents' um, home furniture value is uh, black Illinois residents' home values uh, from 1999 through 2019. Uh, and for this stack chart, we'll have uh, the percent of black Illinois uh, residents who are incarcerated versus unincarcerated. So as you can see here, both data frames have loaded successfully. And in order to plot them, we'll use these plate 25 and plate 51 functions that we also used for these replications. Uh, in each of these functions, they take a number of arguments that can uh, span from titles to access titles to uh, location of labels. Um, in this case, we'll run plate 25 first. And we're able to see that that generated successfully with the new data. So you can see here, we see the home value of black Illinois residents. Each, the length of each line in the spiral corresponds to the value, uh, the home values in each uh, year from 1999 to 2019. Now, similarly, if we wanna do the same thing with new data from, for plate 51, we'll simply run that. And we can see again, it's generated successfully. This is the proportion of incarcerated black Illinois residents uh, from 1980 through 2020. Now, as you can see, plate 51 takes a number of arguments uh, while plate 25 takes fewer. Um, you can look through all of the options for the uh, arguments in each function through our documentation, which fleshes out what each argument does and how you can customize each chart. So as you can see, this package is able to reproduce Du Bois's data exactly, but you're also able to graph your own fairly successfully and in a style that almost exactly matches Du Bois's uh, successfully. Uh, now, again, please go to our uh, GitHub repo if you'd like to clone this uh, package, but also this package should soon be available on uh, the Julia server, um, though I will note that it is still a work in progress. Right now we have six plots available, but we aim to add more in the future uh, so that you can replicate more of Du Bois's plots. Uh, thank you all very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy our package.